Hey Earth Signs, happy holidays. So this is your reading for the week of December 20th. Um, so I felt like, I, so I, I drew the cards for you guys and I felt like there was um, a message about your belief in love um, and potentially a love offer coming through for you guys. So I went ahead and made your oracle cards the love oracle cards here. So the past deception, flirt, and give yourself or give your relationship a chance. Give yourself a chance too. <laughs> give your relationship a chance. So I feel like um, there's a blocker for you guys, for some of you out there, um, due to a past deception from a relationship that did a number on you and now you've kind of got yourself all tied up in this um, negative thought pattern um, and negative view about love. I have swords there. You're showing up as five of swords. Um, so I do feel like you're harboring feelings of being what is the word? Not just deception, like being left holding the bag, I guess, is the, the phrase. Like, you're the one that put in so much effort and put your feelings and love and energy into a relationship in the past. And when it fell apart, because the other person had some deceptive practices within the relationship, you felt just like, why did I spend all this energy on this person that just threw me in the shitter, you know? And I think you've been holding on to that for a while. It's time for a new path, though. I think you guys are ready for love um, and have been trying, have been wanting, or have been trying to manifest it. Three of Wands is a manifestation card. Um... So I think in your heart, you really want to move forward and move beyond this negative feeling about relationships, um, but you're just still kind of tied up, okay? It calls for seeing things in a new perspective, okay? Rather than seeing this relationship that broke your heart in the past as a failure, seeing it as a learning lesson, okay? It was likely a karmic relationship you were meant to learn lessons from, to grow, okay? So, like I said, I see a love offer, Knight of Cups, okay? You could have a water sign coming in. Could be someone from the past, Six of Cups here. So this feels like someone from the past, a water sign, is coming in. And you're being asked to not jump into marriage, not take things super fast, but have a good time, flirt, <laughs> enjoy the process, enjoy the person, and free yourself from this baggage you've been holding, been tying yourself down with, okay? Um, the opportunity is to learn something new about your, what am I trying to say, your inner self, okay? Developing your emotional capacity, um, developing your, um, ma growing into maturity, okay? This is a very, like, adolescent card, but I feel like you have to go through this phase so that you can learn how to love someone, okay? Learn how to love someone while you still love yourself. We've got the Nine of Cups here. It, this is like a Make-A-Wish card. Okay, so with your Nine of Cups and your Three of Wands, this is something that you've been kind of brewing on. Okay, I think you're really ready. You're leaving behind this Knight of Pentacles. Um, so I love Knight of Pentacles, very responsible, but also very slow energy. So moving into more of a romantic headspace, I think that's really important for you. Uh, some of you earth signs haven't been 
feeling romantic, right? Like you've been very practical, very responsible. Um, I think this is a call for you to kind of change, open up to some of that like watery, romantic, intuitive energy, getting really in touch with your feelings. Um, and I really think that's gonna work out great for you guys um, romantically. You're showing up to others as three of pentacles. Just a very like, uh, what is the word? I feel like you're the teacher here. Okay, uh, it's like a, sorry for the nudity if you don't like nudity. Uh, <laughs> but there's a teacher and then there's a student and there's a model. I think, I feel like you're this teacher. And so people see you as very responsible and practical and really look to you for guidance. Um, but it's okay to lighten up. Like the teacher, you like, I feel like this teacher is very, like, uh, very earthy, very tied down, very um, practical. It's okay to lighten up, do some flirting, tap into that lighthearted energy there, do some flirting. You have six of wands in your near, near future, so a lot of success, some celebration. And your outcome is the page of wands. So um, developing some new beliefs around uh, love is going to be on your horizon. Once you change your thinking on relationships, on past relationships, change your thinking from thinking they're failures to seeing them as the learning experiences that they are. And then finally, once that love love has come in giving it a chance okay <laughs> really give it a chance um don't back away from it enjoy yourself ease into it with your light flirting and lighthearted energy um but don't run away from it don't tie yourself up and put yourself in a dark room by yourself okay <laughs> All right, Earth signs, have a great week, have great holidays, and I will see you next week.